Doesn't sound good, does it? Well, that turned to uh, pretty quickly, didn't it? TJ's gonna go race back there and see if they need any more help, but... Uh... Bit of a situation, but this is where they've ended up. Alrighty, good morning, everyone. Okay, so today is the day that we're pretty much gonna, well, hopefully today, find out if, um, yeah, our gib trip's gonna end early or not. Um, we're off to El Questro today, and surely they'll tell us about um, the pending weather. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're off to El Questro today, um, and I'm, we're sure that they're gonna, you know, let us know about what's going on with all this rain um, that could possibly be coming. Um, hasn't been a drop of rain yet, and there's nothing on the radar. It is meant to be tomorrow, though. Yeah, so we're packing up now. Um, I did just do a full, went under the van, went over all the nuts and bolts on the leaf sprung suspension. Um, it's pretty good when they did my axle flip they marked every nut with paint so i can visually see if they've um rattled loose or anything but i still like to go over and just give it a tweak and see if they've actually moved as well and they were all good um i'll do wheel nuts soon but um yeah this place is you know it's a bit of a hassle at the start getting in here just with all the sights being messed up but showers were good hot good pressure probably leave in the next couple of hours uh, well sorry next hour or so uh, road, I think it's on yesterday's last night's episode. Um, we went down to the Pentecost. It's rough again. It's only 10k, I think. And then we are um, on the black stuff after we cross the river. Um, yeah, the river's not very high, so easy crossing. Cruise all the way on time. We'll stop on the other side, pump out, pump all the tires up. Cruise to Alquestro, let the tires back down. We do know someone that's at went to Alquestro yesterday. They booked in for four nights and they weren't told that they're closing or anything. So. I guess they're probably just going to keep an eye on the um, the weather as well, and they'll just obviously let us all know. Yeah, sit back and enjoy another episode. Wow, look at M doing the hitch up. This is uh, this is something I still haven't done, which is uh, quite embarrassing. <laughs> what are these hand signals, mate? <laughs> oh, oh, get in the hole, M. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, the girls. Woo! Yeah, the girls. Woo! 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 All right, so we're putting a camera in Damo and Emma's caravan today. The road isn't the craziest we've done. It's very rocky though, and it's um we did it yesterday, and it's um it's not great, but it's not the worst. But the thing is, they actually put it all in there. They put all of their um bikes and stuff inside. So, and I know a lot of people actually travel like that. So I'd love to show you what it looks like when you actually fill up your van with all that kind of stuff. So I put a camera in like we did the other day, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I, I know a lot of people do travel with lots of things in their van um, and not on the outside. So I'd love to show you that perspective. So let's just hope we can go to El Questro. We've not heard anything yet. Uh, it's, um, yeah, we don't know what's going on. Oh, go the girls. Yeah, yeah boy. I need to learn that one day. Today is not the day though. <laughs> uh, I know I said in yesterday's episode that there's actually no dump points on the whole of the gear. We've just found out there is one at El Questro. So, but everywhere else there isn't. If you're coming from El Questro away, make sure you empty your cassette, cassettes, whatever you have, because the whole way along uh, there's nothing. So you might have to go poo, poo in a bush. <laughs> Take your spade with you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen if, if we can't um, stay at El Questro. Good luck us even trying to get into Kananara because obviously people are obviously gonna be staying in Kananara because they can't get on the gib. And so, and the booking isn't, yeah, until five days time. So, uh, we're gonna be a little bit screwed. We'll just have to, yeah, free camp somewhere. Got no, no fridge, oh, it's just a bit of a shambles. We're gonna take it very slow on this 10Ks worth of rock, rock roads because we don't wanna jinx ourselves and do anything else, really. Do we, babe? We'll be right. We just don't have a fridge, but everything else is sweet. Okay, I'll leave it at that just in case anything else happens. All right, see you at El Questro, hopefully. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. There shouldn't be anyone coming this way. Slow down for a give up here, guys. A little yeah. bit rocky coming out of it, too. Damo and Stevo, if you can see it, they're on the right hand side. It seems to be a bit smoother, right? Someone said to drive on this side, remember? Yeah, the way the traffic goes. That's right, so apparently the corrugation's um, on the other side of the road. Another little rocky dip. Are uh, better because it's uh, you're going against them apparently. Yeah, didn't save the fridge. <laughs> didn't save the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Shifting to the other side, guys, but I'll let you know if there's any cars coming. Yeah, copy. 
we can laugh about the fridge now. Yeah, it's but done. I mean, it's done. that was a bad move. <laughs> <laughs> Literally taking our time on these last 10Ks. 10Ks? Is it about 10Ks? Yeah, we're definitely um, going easy on this last bit of um, rocky road. road because can you imagine if you did crazy damage in the last 10Ks? No thanks. So um, yeah, we've all just said we'll take our t really take our time today. Back on the right, guys. Copy. I'm um, still trying to get around the corner. <laughs> and um, yeah, so. That's a pretty heavy car of accidents, Yeah, over the other side is insane. I reckon that's where that full drive trail would have come back out on just after the bitumen floodway. Oh yeah, I'll have a look. Yeah, that's the one we got stuck on yesterday that someone was bogged in front of us so we couldn't actually do the forward drive track around Home Valley. There was like a forward drive uh, loop. So we couldn't actually do that yesterday, which is a bit of a shame because um, this one wants to do some forward driving, but we couldn't do it. Someone was in front of us, their car was overheating and they didn't want to move their car. So um, we just U-bolted it out of there. I, but think, I think we got some, oh, if, if we get there. Wheels by the ocean, are you guys on channel? Um, I think we got some forward driving at Equestro. Oh. What I hear. Well, maybe if the gorges aren't open, we yep. can just still do yeah, forward we'll driving. Yeah, we'll see. These corrugations are real, mate. Oh, so over these roads. I can't even, I can't <laughs> even tell there. you. Oh. I think corrugation needs to be in the swear jar area. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even see, we got a new wrap. We wrapped our car when we've been on the gib. It's now like an orange. <laughs> no, a brownie orange car. Yeah. I only realised yesterday that Damo has a black car as well. Yeah, I was like, it doesn't look black. No, I know, but I was like, we, you don't see many black cars travelling around Australia. No. Because this is what happened to them. They get scratched and dirty all the time. Yeah, his, his has got a bit of a, a grey feel to it now. Ours yeah. is a bit brownie. It's and... like a brownie red, isn't it? Yeah. Damn, and a bad corrugation. Oh, straight oh. to the corrugation. Look, look at that. Oh. Have to see how much higher the river is today on the Pentecost. Should be, um, high, should should be a bit higher. Yeah, yeah, that'd be interesting. I'm pretty sure it was low tide when we came yesterday. That was, a, that was about lunchtime. Oh, about yeah. 12, 31 o'clock. Yeah. So the tide might be going out. Might be a little bit higher. It'll be interesting to see uh, how Damo and Emma's caravan is going inside and um, how much of their stuff is actually moving. Because um, well, they keep a bit of stuff in they there. They keep a bit of stuff in there. They do. But I mean, if you jam pack it. It might not yeah, move so much, so yeah, it'll be really interesting to see uh, how it's all going in there. Oh, oh, I didn't know what I was doing wrong. All the things I go wrong. Oh, oh, I didn't know it could be that strong. Just there. Anyway, they uh, cut on one of our tyres as well. I seen this morning. Once I pump it up on the road, I'll see. It does not lose an air or anything, but um, like it's kind of the weird one that happened to our old tyres at Cape York, and it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, she rough up here. Copy, slow down. Nearly there. <laughs> so close. So we've got tarmac for like 40 k's or something like that, which is going to be absolutely go, bloody delightful. And um, and then yeah, to go off to El is a oh, turn off, and that again is um, rocky. So we're going to pull. We're going to put the tires up after this river crossing, and then put them back down for the actual El Cresto road. So <laughs> never ending. <laughs> I feel like your whole yeah, body yeah, shakes man. when you've you got the corrugation. Technically we've got, what, I think it's 8k? Yeah. To our question, off, off road. So 16k of bumpy roads to go. Doesn't sound bad. In and out. But if it's, a really, if it's as bad as what everyone's been telling us. Me and TJ were just saying, imagine coming from this way, so starting Kanara. off at Kananara. You've got all that beautiful tarmac and then you go, go across the Pentecost River and you come straight to these well, yeah, roads. Up on the right side, I don't guys. know if I'd do it. I reckon I'd turn oh, back. Yeah. Luckily we started off and it wasn't so bad and um, we just we were already halfway through and it got bad. So, you know, you're not going to turn around.
Pentecost done. Uh, we're all doing our tyres um, on the other side of the river, so we're gonna we're gonna be uh, nice and up to speed on this bitumen up ahead. I am so bloody excited. <laughs> that was a breeze, wasn't it, to cross that? Yeah, that was easy. That yeah, was... it was easy, oh, man, which is great. <laughs> this thing is wicked, by the way, everyone. This bloody pumper upper. Oh, the dual one. Yeah. Two tyres at once. Yeah. Works a treat. I'll turn it on, Parker. We use Parker as our little helper. <laughs> yeah, I can press a diet at somewhere. 14. No, no, uh, Tom Price died. Oh, really? Yeah. Remember I threw in the bin there, so oh. I had to get a um, chi bomb. It doesn't cut off, so I need Parker to turn it off every time I stop. But that's all right. We'll, we'll get a good one before we leave this. That's, so. that's why you have kids, so they can help you. <laughs> we'll see what happens with our vehicle. I think it'll be on board air next time. And the airbags as well, so I have to let him down and put them up all the time. Oh, such more ease. Money. Yeah, more money, just for a bit more ease. Did you tell him that I nearly drove off when you get into the van? Oh, <laughs> bloody head over here. He literally was like, go inside and get the drone at the beginning of the Pentecost. He's like, yeah, no worries. Open up the door, was about to take a step inside. <laughs> and then the guy in front's like, yeah, mate, come on down. And he just freaking went without me. And I, I just, I was nearly in there. Oh, no, Cliff told me on the radio. I could have died. I could have died. You're doing a good job, mate. Good boy, eh? Bit sweaty, bit hot. It is hot out here. Oh my gosh. So hot, isn't it? All right, well, let's get this done, get back in the aircon, and we're gonna go and enjoy this last, oh, 40 k's of bitumen before we hit another dirt road. Ah, does it stop? misinformation this morning um, so I don't know how much it was on the road uh, but we've got 17 Six k's 16 k's of dirt road to El Crestro so we've just taken the turn off so um we just took an hour damn. To pump the tires up. so we've just taken yeah we've taken no. about half an hour to pump the tires up no, and to on the road, it doesn't matter up. anyway um yeah so it's um oh, 16 k's of dirt road again ah hopefully it's all right Checked all this. I think his um, U bolts have come off of his leaf springs. I'm just gonna get out and help and look for something. Doesn't sound good, does it? Well, that turned to uh, pretty quickly, didn't it? Oh dear. So we're using the two U bolts from our spare tire holder to replace the ones that are busted here. A very temporary fix, yeah. We've also um, had the Anderson plug ripped off and the cables for the van 
handbrake all went. We'll be drinking a lot tonight, I think. <laughs> no, we will be. <laughs> Luckily, um, a mechanic has pulled over and seems to know his stuff. And we've also happened to meet them, like, you know, at every few stops since about Esperance, I think. Which is awesome. So thank you, Dave. Um, I don't know what's going on. Something to do with the leaf spring, two snapped e volts. All to do with the suspension down the bottom. So, have we killed our axle too? No. 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 Thank God. We are in a convoy. We have people who know what they're doing. Uh, because if it was just me and Damo on our own, we'd be just quietly. Steve, are having a bath? Well earned reward. Fixing our van. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Out and it's grabbed the wheels and they've just ripped the U-bolts out. <laughs> TJ went to go and walk back but uh, we were too far ahead and um, not really a good spot to turn around. We're going to go check in and um, drop the caravan off and TJ's going to go race back there and see if they need any more help but um, <laughs> not good. Uh, broken U-bolts. We do have a couple of U-bolts so they, I think I think we, it was kind of crackly but I think they're going to um, try them and um, if it works at least get they're, they're a bit long but it'll, it'll get them to here at least and then we'll yeah, worry about it probably go to Cunanara and get some the right u-bolts for it um if we're allowed to stay here for the five days yeah we don't know the rain coming Frick. but we'll see all right well we're gonna go and check in what tj's gonna go check in and um we'll figure it out and see if um we can stay here uh, um i think the brakes are yeah and the handbrake cable snapped uh, they, our Questro guys are going to take the tractor down. They're going to lift it up. Track lift it up, take the wheel off, and they found, I think they just said they found the leaf a leaf spring, spring in, in the, the river, water. So yeah. It's actually come out, so. Bit of a, uh, bit of a situation, but this is where they've ended up. Right on the water crossing. You can see that. Um, yeah, so U-bolt snapped, leaf spring come flying out. Um, they just got a couple of guys under there now fixing it all up. Um, managed to get one of the U-bolts off the spare tyre, chuck it under there. Going to take the wheel off, put some chocks in and just um, slowly head up to El Questro. Yeah, so, how'd you go, Em? Did you feel it? Towards like the last three or four seconds, you hear this and we're like, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound good. And so everything's gone, we've lost... Um, the Anderson plug got ripped off. The handbrake cable done. Did it slam the brakes on or anything? No, what? everything just sort of went like. Well, it kind of did. I wonder it kind if it like slammed the brakes stopped. on. That's what ripped yeah. the bolts out. Maybe. maybe. Or I don't know, a, rock. On a rock. Yeah. Or like, it's deceptive. Like it doesn't look that bad. No, nah, it is rocking out. Yeah. You can't see them. That's no, the problem. No. And we went. We were going slow. Yeah. We just, just boom. So we've but, been here an hour. Been an hour, but they're getting there. They're nearly done. So we're gonna. We should be able to limp back into Equestro and then probably go get some new leaf springs in Kununara while we're here um they're not closing so far so okay yep um, i asked them and they said they know they get their alerts and we do apparently so oh, all right we'll see how the rain goes so someone's um, going to dash into Kununara yeah so we'll have to yeah. get on to Kununara and pick up a leaf and jack it up and swap it over yeah exactly yeah so that's where we're at all righty so we're going again very slowly um we're just following behind them here hazards on um got the wheel on um it's not you know it's not perfect but it'll get us to camp camps i think we're like we've got one more little water crossing it's like three, into this joke, this too. like 300 meters to camp so we'll get him through that water crossing and then yeah you it'll either be see what he wants to do either he can either head into kananara the next couple of days try and find some parts or you know get it towed there to see what happens he said it kind of kind of looked like they bent the axle as well so that, that might not be good, but we'll have to see. Um, I think he's going to help him pull it off. Is that looking up your nose? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was up my nose. Sorry. Yeah, I think he's going to help um, them pull it off and then have a look and see what they need to do. And they'll either, I don't know, get try and get the van back to Kununara or 
try and fix it out here. Just have to see what Damo finds out about it. But yeah, well, we're all at camp. That's the main thing, I suppose. Oh God. <laughs> Who thought that that little stretch of road to Elkhurst yeah. Road would be um, so bad? Well, I mean, the road wasn't too bad. It would have already happened. Yeah, it would yeah. have happened along the way, and it's just. Yeah, it would good. have already either been cracked or one was hanging in there, and it just finally let go. But anyway, we're here. And it's freaking hot. It is hot. Very, oh. very muggy. Um, yeah, and I guess if the rains hit, we bail because just there is the Pentecost River, right out, <laughs> out the back there. But um, they said they'd let us all know anyway, so. If any rains hit, we'll be bailing to Kununurra. I feel like um, they all want to go to the restaurant yeah, tonight, so about some steak. Um, we'll probably end up at the restaurant again because I don't think Damo really wants to, um, yeah, cook or anything. He wants to drink beers and eat some food, so <laughs> we'll probably end up at the restaurant tonight. But we need to book, so. I say our group is um, very easily influenced, and um, when when one person say, says they want to go out for dinner, we all go. <laughs> Oh, even though we've got a freezer full of food that is in Clint's caravan right now that we really should be eating. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Apparently they've got some good steak here, so it is a steakhouse. So, um, yeah, that's, um, that's, that's got TJ's name all over it. All right, that is the end of day nine. Um, big day, <sighs> big damage. Um, yeah, pretty crazy. Um, we finally got the van into the actual caravan park so that's a good sign um, after the boys all sort of fixed it on the track and did what they could so um, it just really really sucks um, but anyway so we are um, yeah we're here for five nights hopefully um, at the moment they're saying that the roads are open from um, from Kananara to Home Valley. So from Derby to Home Valley, that's all closed apparently, and um, that's where the rain's supposed to be. So hopefully it stays that way. Hopefully we're not um, we're not affected by this weather because um, that'd be the best outcome. <laughs> and we can finish off our give trip and that'd be amazing and we can see all the gorges and whatnot. So that'd be the best outcome. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's bloody humid at the moment. We've got no aircon. We're on an unpowered site. So it feels like the rain's coming because it's just so humid. But I, yeah, I don't know. It's oh, we're actually just sweating bullets over here. It's just, it's horrible. It's so hot. But we've got like a water hole right near our camp. Um, so um, we're going to go check out that tomorrow and have a look around. We were kind of just chilling this afternoon. But um, yeah, um, so that is day nine, guys. So uh, we've got a, um, a pretty big river crossing to do. We don't know whether we'll do that tomorrow or not. It's um, about one meter high. So um, that should be interesting. Um, yeah, so we've got hopefully a good couple of days here and we can stay here and um, yeah, and finish the end of our trip. That would be best case scenario. So anyway, thank you for tuning in. Uh, make sure if you love this that you make sure you subscribe so we can tell you when we are giving you videos, which at the moment is daily, we've got another uh, four or five to go. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you're enjoying them, guys. And um, yeah, stay tuned and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.